Howdy ladies and gentlemen, today's video will be explaining the origins behind some popular phrases. Please enjoy. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. Number 1. To bury the hatchet, meaning to end a quarrel or conflict and become friendly. This term goes back to when Puritans first settled North America. During negotiations between Puritans and Native Americans, men would bury all of their weapons, making them inaccessible, including hatchets. Number 2. Getting caught red-handed, used to indicate that a person has been discovered in or just after the act of doing something wrong or illegal. And this is a weird one. There was an old law stating that if someone butchered an animal that didn't belong to him, he would only be punished if he was caught with blood on his hands. If one was caught with the meat but his hands were clean, he would not be punished. Pretty strange, right? Number 3, Riding Shotgun, or the act of claiming the right to sit in the front passenger seat of a vehicle. This expression refers to the passenger of an old-fashioned stagecoach who sat next to the driver with a shotgun to protect from attackers and robbers along the way. There is no evidence to suggest that the expression was actually used in the times of the Wild West, but most likely came about much later on, when media and films began to romanticize the period. Number 4. Close but no cigar meaning almost but not quite successful. In the late 19th century, carnival games were targeted to adults and not children, so the winners would get a cigar as a prize instead of stuffed animals. If the person was close to winning but did not succeed, they would say, close but no cigar. Number 5, keel hauling, which is a punishment or potential execution for sailors out at sea. Essentially, they would tie a rope to the front of the ship and let it move to the back. Next, they would tie the rope to a nefarious individual and throw him into the water. Finally, they would pull the rope from the front, thus pulling the individual through the bottom of the ship. Those who were keelhauled usually died from suffocation or from their wounds from scraping from the bottom of the ship. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, make sure to subscribe for more fascinating factoids. Bye.